You know, I'm gonna give a quick review on the Hackney Signature Series at Lou's, which I'm really proud of. They were rods I worked on a long time. And I got with the rod builder at Lou's and got them designed exactly like I wanted them. And uh, honestly, they couldn't have turned out any better. They have the best action, the best rod lengths, the most sensitive rods I've ever fished with, high quality, wind grips. I mean, they're perfect. The 7.6 is probably one of my favorite just because I can do so many things with it. I flip and pitch with it. I cast a big worm. I cast a structure jig on it. I throw a swim bait on it. There's just a lot of things. It's a very versatile rod. It's just an everyday rod. It's always on my deck and I use it a lot and it's won me a lot of money. Probably second on that list is that 711 Hackney flipping stick. It's a big rod. It's not as versatile as the 7.6. It is, I'm not gonna say niche, but it is the heavy cover rod. I can flip deep grass with it, mats, anytime I'm in heavy cover, heavy laydowns, trees, where you need to use big line, you're using a big weight, where you need to pull a fish with a lot of power out of heavy cover. That 711 is the finest flipping stick I've ever owned. Last but not least in that line, probably one of my favorite ways to fish, just in general, is a frog. And uh, that 7.3 rod, 7.3 frog rod is perfect for that. Now I designed it for what I call everyday frog fishing. That's when you're frogging down rip wrap, uh, grass, weeds, everything you come by. It's 7.3, I wanted it a hair shorter so I can roll cast it and skip it under cypress trees, under boat docks and just fish what's in front of you with it. It's the perfect action, it's a medium heavy. It's perfect for braid. There are a lot of other things I do with it. I cast a worm, I, I pitch up, Baby, uh, basically a bubble shot with it, which is just a beefed up version of a drop shot. I throw a weightless stick bait on it, an ocho, a shimmy stick. I just do a lot of other stuff with it, but it says frog on it and it was designed for that. But since I've used it, I cast a jig with it, plink a smaller jig around with it on lighter line. It's a very versatile rod too. So basically with the exception of cranking and winding, those three rods, I can basically do about anything out there I wanna do with them. So I would say the review of the Hackney Signature Series is that you better get some before your neighbor does.